Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is your teacher, Torban, of Alicia Technical Vocational High School. I would like to present to you my dear students in Mathematics 8. We have Mathematics 8, Quarter 3, Module 4, Lesson 2. And this is all about, we have Asa congruence postulate, or we have angle side angle congruence postulate. And of course, the objective here is you are going to illustrate and state the angle side angle congruence postulate. We have the concept of angle side angle congruence postulate. So we are going to uh, refer these two congruent triangles. We have now again asa or angle side angle congruence postulate. If the two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding two angles and an included side of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Let us have an example. If angle A is congruent to angle E, side GA is congruent to side ME, and angle J is congruent to angle M, then triangle JAY is congruent to triangle MEL by ASA congruence postulate. So I will give you these figures. We have two triangles. Triangle one is JAY. Another triangle is triangle MEL. Let's try to look at the two triangles. See, angle A is congruent to triangle E. Other questions? So you have angle A is congruent to angle E. Another, we have example. In our figures below, we have two triangles. We have angle A is congruent to angle E. Another, Side GA in the first figure is congruent to side ME. Other questions? We have angle J is congruent to angle M. Then tri triangle JAY is congruent to triangle MEL by ASA congruence postulate. So again, we have angle A is congruent to angle A. That is from figure 1 and figure 2. Angle A is congruent to angle E. Then we have from tri I mean, triangle 1, we have side GA is congruent to side ME. From triangle 1, we have angle J is congruent to angle M. And comparing triangle 1 and triangle 2, we have now triangle JAY is congruent to triangle ME. L. That is by angle side angle congruence postulate. Let's go to what's more. Draw triangles and mark the congruent parts. If angle S is congruent to angle J and we have side SD is congruent to side GY, then angle D is congruent to angle Y, then 
triangle is AD or sad is congruent to triangle J or Y. So this time we are going to draw the triangles. We have tri triangle is AD or triangle is sad, and we have triangle J O Y, or we have triangle joy. So we have now the answer. We have the two triangles. We have triangle is AD is congruent to triangle J O Y. And that is the answer. So we have now triangle is AD or triangle sad is equivalent to triangle J O Y. Or we have triangle joy. So other questions? It's the end of our uh, lesson on quarter three, module four, lesson one. Again, this is your teacher, Orban. Just hope you will subscribe my YouTube channel and please do not forget to hit the notification bell or some updates of my video. Thanks for watching. Babu! Please click here and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.